Hello there. The weather over the week ahead is going to be more of a shock to the system than anything else, given how mild it's been for so much of the autumn. Now, we had more sunshine around on Thursday, but differing temperatures a very mild 15 degrees in Norwich. But in Scotland, temperatures actually fell through the day as that colder air arrived. And you can see temperatures across the board will be lower for Friday as colder air digs down across the UK. The milder air was brought in on a west to southwesterly wind ahead of that weather front there. That's not producing much rain as it drives southwards and then the wind direction changes. We get more of a north or northwesterly wind and that pushes that cold red down across the whole of the country. It'll be uh, colder by the time we get to Friday. Still some cloud to break up in Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest, the odd shower. But the sunshine will come through. For many parts of the country it's going to be dry and sunny. Most of the showers generally of rain across northern Scotland driving down those North Sea coasts where we've got the stronger winds. And those temperatures of course will be lower on Friday, uh, typically into uh, single figures, but it's going to feel colder where the winds are stronger. And the strongest winds will be across northern and eastern parts of Scotland, driving down the easternmost parts of England. So in those stronger winds, it's going to feel more like one or two degrees, perhaps, even though there'll be some sunshine. Once the winds die down overnight, though, Friday night is going to be cold widely. The first widespread frost of the autumn away from exposed coasts, we're going to find those temperatures tumbling away to about minus five degrees. Nothing particularly unusual, though, for this time of the year. But it will be a cold day on Saturday. It's going to be less windy. There'll be uh, fewer showers driving down those North Sea coasts. There'll be a bit more cloud coming into northern Scotland. It may well be colder in the far southwest of the UK. And for large parts of the country, after a frosty start, temperatures will struggle to reach five or six degrees. It will get cold again overnight. But we've uh, got a bit of a change on the way for the second half of the weekend. Still a lot of uncertainty about this. Models have been really struggling with that area of low pressure. Now it looks like it could bring a little bit of what looks like rain uh, towards Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest, and temperatures may be a bit higher here. But we're going to throw more cloud ahead of that, particularly across England and Wales. And the winds will be light, but it's going to feel cold because we have that cloud coming in. Scotland, though, may still see some sunshine. And then that area of low pressure just sort of ambles its way southeastwards across the UK, bringing some outbreaks of rain. Now, there is still some colder air in place, but it's not desperately cold. So there's just a risk of a bit of sleet and snow on the northern edge. And then we're going to pick up more of a wind off the North Sea, I think, on Monday. That will bring some showers into eastern Scotland and the northeast of England. And they may be a touch wintry over the higher ground. But on the whole, those temperatures may be a shade higher typically seven to nine degrees on Monday. Now that area of low pressure looks like it's going to move away into continental Europe and bring some snow as well. We've got this big area of low pressure threatening to arrive from the southwest, but it's getting blocked off by that high that's building down from the north and that's pushing down the colder air back across the UK as well. Now this low could eventually uh, bring some rain towards the uh, far southwest. The winds pick up as well, but it's going to be a southeasterly wind. But that's still going to draw in colder air that's pooled over continental Europe. So we could eventually see some rain arriving into the far southwest, maybe across the uh, southeast as well, but otherwise some sunshine longer term, a few showers. It looks like staying cold into the start of December.